All right, what's up, bros? So something different today. Instead, I just say uh, lifting log. We're gonna be doing a very typical low effort YouTuber uh, content thing in the jig. Just doing some reaction shit. So this video in particular is called "10 Minutes of Leg Day Fails, Squat, Deadlift, Gym Fails, Funny Completion, Blah 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 Blah." Uh, and yeah, we're gonna just see how this goes. Obviously, you know, gym being my main priority. And we'll kind of like see how if some of these things are like legit fails or just mishaps or just some people being like intentionally stupid in the gym for content. Anywho, so let's have a gander. But I think they say say that is not a good start. Uh I wonder if this guy could actually squat this. Or if he's just doing like the um I can't remember what's called now, where you just obviously you Unrack more weight you can actually squat to sort of get used to having the weight on your back. Maybe. I'll try and get this is very loud. Nope. I wonder if he could have prevented that with like do you think he was too far? He was must have been too far back, I suppose. Because he just completely missed the safeties here. It's not too bad though. That's why I quite like the squat racks that I squat in. They're like just, it's very, I feel like it's rare to miss the squats. This kid does not look comfortable at all. Oh. What the hell is going on, man? He was very not comfortable at all with that weight. Jeez. I'm assuming he's had no, like, sort of instruction on lifting at all from the looks of things. Just like a young kid. It's a shame. Hopefully he sorts himself out of it, because that's pretty rough to see. Wait. I'm going to guess. These ones always go the same. It's always the, uh, is it the, the, the cleaning, the snatch? I can't remember where they go overhead. Uh, well, clean and jerk, maybe I can't with less called. Normally with these, when their hair's loose, they get their hair caught in the bar and it rips them down. Um, but I'm guessing she's just probably just in sort of loose balance and fall. Shit. Yeah, all that. <laughs> That's quite a standard one as well. What the? Shit. Shit. Okay, wait. So, hold up. <laughs> so I'm assuming these are all like 20 kilo plates, right? So it's got 100 here, we've got 200, we've got 300, I'm guessing. No, wait, sorry, not. That's not how it works, I'm being stupid. So we've got 100 here, we've got 180, and we've got 210, I think. My maths is bad, bros. 210. <laughs> and what, 2. 40 or 60, I'm thinking? For what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 120. This one looks slightly smaller, but we'll just give them better doubt, I guess, and say that's the same. So yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So what, 140 here. The double that shit, we've got 280, plus the bar. So yeah, 300 kilos. 300 kilo, I think. That bar literally just snapped in half. That is fucking crazy. Hold it. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Mirrors in a break. 100% the mirrors in a break. Oh. I stand corrected. Just, just the guy broke. I think he's fine. I think he's okay. I think he might pass out for a second, possibly. For the looks of things, yeah, he looks confused. I think he dazed out a little bit, then went night nights for a second, but I think he's okay. He's alright. He's okay. The good thing about those big bumper plates, like if that kind of thing does happen, the bar is very like far away from you, so I think it's unlikely the bar will hit you like that. Unless obviously you do that lady did earlier, and when the bar just lands on your traps. But yeah, he's alright. He's good. 225. 
So 225, obviously 100 kilos ish. Not exactly, but that's how 100 kilos over here. I'm pretty sure it's basically the same. Very, very high bar. I'm assuming he's doing a what a box squat, I suppose. Oh, very uncomfortable squat. Oh no. Oh no. Stay calm. Stay calm. No. Oh, that's a very uncomfortable leg position. Holy, I don't think I can even get my legs into that position naturally. Fucking hell. It's a lot of internal rotation, which I mean, I guess the mobility is good. Mom. Mom. Let do you He's got a lot of nice kit though, to be fair. He's got a fair bit of weight, you know. Tied up his form a little bit, and hopefully has a decent program, might make some nice progress. Definitely a fixture formula. Indeed. Oh no. When I see this much weight and guys like this uh, in a fail thing, I always get scared. Because it. Oh. But it's, a lot of the time, it's that really painful looking fails. Like bone breaking shit. That's a lot of weight. I don't know. I'm not even trying to count that shit. I can't be asked. Oh. Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're okay. He just fucks off. What happens there? Does the J hook just break? I'm really confused. Because the J is. He doesn't even unrack it yet. It looks like the J hook just dips. Oh, wait. Where's the, where's the playback speed thing? Yeah, he doesn't even rack it. It just sort of slides off. That's weird. Yeah, it looks like it literally just slides off. Okay. That's pretty worrying. Yeah. Alright, well, yeah, we've got a front squat, a lot of look, weight looking at well, maybe like what, two, 200 kilos maybe? I can't tell, those plates are very confusing. I'm gonna just guess like maybe 200 ish. Oh no. Oh, I think he passes out. He's braced, and if, yeah, I think he feels himself getting lightheaded, and he's like, shit, I better read back quickly. And it's just too late, and he taps out. Yeah, oh mate, fucking hell. That's rough. I don't know about you guys, but I often, I've not done front squats in a while, but they would always really get me lightheaded. Especially after the, the initial like, unrack and like the, the initial bracing and then getting set, I always get very lightheaded initially. And then after sort of the first squat, it's it, I'm okay, but obviously I'd never front squat that much weight, so can't really relate. <laughs> Come on, bro. Ah, that's alright. I thought these are hardly fails, really. That's just like a a trial and error of the thing. Like you're because it's a very technique, you know, for that sort of lift. So like calling that a fail is I don't know. It, it seems very loosey goosey with that kind of thing. I wouldn't class it as a fail. You just missed the lift kind of thing. I feel like missing a lift and failing a lift aren't the same thing. I don't know. Like it's fine. <laughs> Press. Nice. Oh. What the fuck happened there? Did he hit the J-hook? Yeah, he clipped the J-hook. I like the coordination with the t-shirt and the knee sleeves. Very nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Good save. Oh, I've seen this one quite a few times. I feel like you pro guys have probably seen this a lot as well. Luckily, he's all good. Ah, this push, is the kind push, of one I was about where push, it catches push, the hair, push. I think. Back. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that a few times too. So. Oh, God. This is the kind of thing where I was like, mm, it's not really that funny. It's just more upsetting to see that the guy's not being, like, helped to actually squat properly. And say this, oh, it's, oh, I don't know. I'd rather see him actually be helped to squat properly. Also, I don't know. If you can't squat, 
I feel like squatting in the Smith machine would be worse than just learning the squat. Like, I'm assuming he doesn't know how to squat based on that video. So, like, surely actually learning to squat with just the bar, or not even just the bar, would be a lot more beneficial than, like, squatting in the Smith. Because obviously the Smith machine, like, restricts movement and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Again. Okay, I'd rather just learn the squat just out of this myth and use a smith machine for hypertrophy. What the fuck? He just loses his balance completely. Jesus. I hope he's okay. I think he's okay. He seems okay. Led to hell. There, so that's a big shelf. Holy fuck. I got. Put my TV on that shelf. Hold it down. More than my TV, based on these plates. If they're all real. A lot of shit there. Has he got this? Come on, bro. I know you haven't got this because we're in a fail compilation, but come on. Not bad. No, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was a lot of weight on that one side of the shoulder. Oh. Right. Okay, so I've never used these types of safeties before. I'm pretty sure I've seen this pill is before as well. They just don't look as safe as like a bar. Because like, I've seen it a few times where they'll drop in here, like it'll land in the slings. And then because of this sling isn't like a solid object, the, the bar will like swing and take out either the squatter or the spotter. It, just, it doesn't seem as safe. I'm pretty sure that's what happens here. So he misses the J-hook. He's going for another one. He loses it entirely. And then, uh... Oh, okay, no, it's a different one. He's very upset. So, I wonder... Right, I mean, technically speaking... So, so he goes for the squat. He gets one good one. The guy puts the hooks... I'm not sure, is it a monolift, I think? Which I puts the monolith, like the safety's back, or the, the rack back, I guess, technically, into place for him to re the bar. But he's going for a second rep. It looks like he's going to go for a second rep. Then the guy's like, oh shit, I bet me did it the way. But then, it, but then it distracted him, so he couldn't go for the second rep. So then he went to re rack, but the guy moved the fucking racks at the way, and it all just goes downhill from there. So is that like a communication error? Like, Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> he's very upset. <laughs> This is just fucks off, like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this shit. Good, okay, that's great. Very upset, man. Uh, okay, so what have we got here? We've got a lot of plates. We've got the pads, which obviously, I personally don't like the pads. I mean, I never get, like, sore traps or any of that from the bar, because if the bar is sat right, then it doesn't really hurt at all. Um... But obviously you have the bar really high up in your neck, it messes about with like the bar path and the bar placement and stuff. So I hate the foam pad. I mean, I feel like if, if I'm maybe doing like on the Smith and I'm just doing like really like hypertrophy sets where it doesn't matter where the bar is as much, maybe I'd use them then, but I'd never do that kind of stuff. Uh, but this guy looks like he's just doing some heavy squats. So I'd feel like the, having the pad there would be like very disadvantageous. Is that having a fucking word? <laughs> no, let's just crack on. Also, the person filming him obviously hasn't asked to film him, so it's kind of, you know, privacy and whatnot. And I, I didn't even notice the shoes. Those are not ideal shoes for squatting in. Like, you're going to lose power output from the fucking foam there. That's right. That's a very wide stance too, bro. Well, for my own sanity, I'm going to pretend that was on purpose for social, social clockiness. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I, I mean... I've seen a lot of guys, like, when they get into the rack under the bar, they do sort of, like, get under the bar really, really aggressively. That's like a hype thing, I guess, and get the bar really deep into there. 
but there obviously wasn't enough weight on the bar to compensate for his amount of aggressive rack. <laughs> he just put the whole fucking thing off the bar, off the hook, sorry. She yeeted it off. Whoop. Oh, God, I really hope he didn't hurt his back, because obviously he was not braced then. I really need a serious hurt his back, because that would suck so bad. All right, come on, bro, get that shit up. Don't break the mirror. Ooh. What was that? Like, mm, I feel like what makes this a bumper play? Maybe like what, 70, 60, 70 kilos is like a, a random guess, maybe? Depending, it's obviously like impossible to tell with the bumper plates. But that sounded like a big thump onto your back. Oh, fucking hell. There's another loose hair. Bar grab. No. Oh my. Jeez. A fucking front flip. Or oh, forward roll, sorry. No, another one. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of smooth, to be fair. Oh, shit. Whee! Oh. Ow. Back of the head. That's concussion territory. Oh, bro. Oh, fucking hell. What was he doing, mate? Jeez. Oh. Uh, aggressive rack. Nice close position. We're good. The bar looks a little bit unbalanced, but you got this, bro. Come on. Up, 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 up. No! Shit! Oh, I think I've seen this one. I think that's the one where his legs go. Very, very aggressive, loud, angry squatter. I think their legs just fuck off, I think. I hope it's not that one. I can't remember the And their legs just fuck off. Oh, those knee wraps are so tight. He can't even stop getting under the bar. Oh, yeah. Fucking cool eight man's doing here. Nope. Okay, it's forward for. Oh, okay. Alright, that's not the one I thought it was. Literally cannot once walk or stand because of how tight those knee wraps are. Jeez. Yeah, no. Come on. Is that professional weak guy? Oh. Let's go. <laughs> the long hair made me think of the professional weak guy. Oh, no. Professional weak guy hook grips. Is it professional weak guy on Instagram? I can't remember. I think that's his handle, anyways. But yeah, I think he, he, he's a hook grabber. That's a very high bar placement. Let's go! That looks quite high to me. I mean, not a bad squat though. Oh, over. I mean, that wasn't actually that bad of a squat. It just got stuck at the bottom. If he had safeties there, that would be no as bad. The fat ass bumper plates. I thought it makes it look like more weight than it actually is. Because like this top plate is like what, probably twenty five kilos? I think tops normally these ones are. So you got like hundred kilos here, and I guess you got two hundred there. So what, two twenty? I suppose. That's a pretty heavy squat still. Oof. All right, come on, bro. You got this. WC, WC. Ah. Again, this I I, I I don't like squatting on the Smith machine. I feel like it's more dangerous than anything else. Oh, I look like it really hurt as well. Just grasping at his back. Oh, bro. Oh, they folded him in half. That thing did. I looked rough. Shit. Come on. Oh, those, why weren't your safeties up, bro? Use the safeties. That's what they're for. God's sake. Oh. That's just stupid. <laughs> Got the fucking leg press maxed out with some bros up top. Do you think they're his friends? 
Like, I want to imagine that these are not his mates. These are just two random... These are all just random gym girls. And he's like, yo, guys, I need some help. I, I, need, to, I need help maxing out the leg press. Oh, God. Fuck's sake. So over the top. Don't be sick, don't be sick, don't be sick, don't be sick, don't be sick. Don't be sick. Yeah. Oh, he's going to max. I mean, he's still got a lift, so I don't... That's not a fail in my books. Like, he did... He got the lift, he locked out, he put it back down again. Like, that's, that was a lift. He got the lift. Oh, this... this I fucking love this lady's energy so much. Uh, it's just she stopped screaming after as well. She screamed for the whole squat, and then she's done. She's like, "All good? I got this. Am I good now? All good? Yeah, sad. So funny." What? Why was he kicking her ass? Literally kicking her ass as well, not even like just figuratively. Like, what? Why? Again, I'm gonna, for my own sanity, pretend this was uh, on purpose, intentionally stupid. And he, that, I'm hoping this isn't like a paid trainer. Because I, I know in certain combat sports, they do like the, that kind of training where they'll, you know, like hit you in the abs and all that kind of shit. So it's like for like conditioning for the sport. In what sport are you going to get hit in the ass? I, I can't think of a sport we're going to get literally kicked in the ass. Oh, I've seen quite a few of this lady. Still, she's giving birth. It does not sound like yeah. I've been doing it the wrong. I love the gym, I love training, but I wouldn't like that. Oh, I've seen this one. This guy's a fucking beast. Too strong for the butt. This is what I find crazy. So that other one we sort of saw near the start, where the guy had a lot of plates in the bar, and the bar just snapped. That was obviously a really shitty, like, commercial gym bar. Whereas this one, just the bar bends. He turns a straight bar into one of those, I, can't, I don't know what they're called. Um, so there's bent bars. This guy's so strong though. But the bar just... The bar tries to kill him. Gravity's against this man. Oh, it's so scary. He's obviously just training at home at the gym by himself. Fucking dead, bro. Just dip. Run. Run. Get out of there. Nice. Guy's too strong for the fucking bars. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ignore this one and call it a day. So Well that is gonna be the end of today's low effort gym reaction stuff. Uh if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments and I'll maybe do one a week, maybe or never do one ever again. I'm gonna leave it there. Goodbye, guys, and I'll see you whenever the next lifting log occurs. Goodbye.